Hello YouTube. Um, this is a very happy video for me to do. Um, as I stand here, um, it is almost one year to the day that we went solar. We are almost one year to the day that we went solar. And ever since we went solar, we have been absolutely completely without generators I've actually given my old generators away the big big generators at the back there is redundant the battery is dead in it there's absolutely no need for it instead what I have done is that I have gone from installing 12 solar panels to sorry installing 18 solar panels to increasing that by 12 so now I have 30 solar panels up um, on the roof and a 7.5 kilowatt array. Um, I've got two inverters, solar inverters, actual genuine solar inverters. Each of them is a 5 kVA inverter and they both stand alone, one for the house and does everything except for what the other one does which is air conditioning water heaters in the bathrooms and ironing you know because we iron like once a week and you know so that's the whole house is completely powered by solar and obviously i'm still connected to the grid so when we do have grid power that comes in and has a bearing uh, from time to time uh, but we only use grid power sparingly. It, the switch is usually in off position because more or less we have enough power to run our day-to-day -day lives. So grid power is something we use sparingly. Basically what happens is that 6 a.m. in the morning the sun comes out. This is West Africa and the panels start to charge my batteries from about half six and that increases you know in wattage all the way to peak sunshine uh, sunshine which occurs about 12:30 all the way through till about half 3 those are the sort of peak times actually about 12 uh, 11:30 to half 3 to be you know on most days but you have so much sun even before and after these uh, peak uh, peak times that we're just using the sun to come in, power the fridge, power the freezer, power the TVs, power the lights, the fans, etc. There's nothing else. Um, and then by evening time, we start to use the battery. It just works very well. Um, so we have not had any use for generators. I have, I will um, show you. This is my son's room and you can see up there ceiling fans I have invested in ceiling fans everywhere in this in this house because they're just so efficient he also has his air conditioning on uh, most nights because he particularly likes this room very cold and when you stand under this ceiling fan as I am here <laughs> This is, so, this is solar power, this is solar powered, you know, every single day. The air conditioning is over there, that we can, uh, you know, so it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Um, one year. So this is my son's air conditioning. You know, we don't have any grid. But there you have purely on the sun. This is pure solar power and air condition is on. The sun. Nothing but the sun. You can hear it. It's cool. Uh, 
to my daughter's room. If you follow me, this is my daughter's room. Again, that's a ceiling fan. See? Over there. Yeah. She's also got her air conditioning over there. Just an amazing, you know, way to, to live. I mean, they're all in school now, you know, so I can go out of the house and with, you know. So, yeah, you can feel that. Feel the breeze coming from there. It's beautiful. Air condition. One, one uh, whatever, horsepower. There you go. Yeah. You will kick it in a minute. There you have it. You can hear it. All from the sun. Switch that off. Again. This is about 1 p.m. in the afternoon, so the sunshine is at its peak. And um, appliances are on downstairs. These are the televisions that I have. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There. LED televisions, they consume 21 watts the equivalent of a light bulb. I've got them scattered all over the house. Doesn't cost me nothing. Um, yeah, I'll show you, let's go downstairs first. Let's go downstairs first. So downstairs here, we have a 1.5 horsepower air conditioner over there. I need two horsepower air conditioner in the main sitting room. And those are not on my solar uh, arrangement. The, all the air, air conditioners in the bedrooms, that's four lots of one horsepower air, conditions, air conditioners. And the air conditioner upstairs in the living room, where I was just starting the video, which is 1.5 horsepower, are all on solar. So we can use them when we want. This is 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Yeah, freezer is on. What? Frozen. That's the fridge. Cool. Freezer. You know, frozen. You know, washing machine is. We have the the washing machine on uh, the solar, as well as all the appliances that you typically find, kettle, microwave, etc. So. You know, what more do I want? The lights are on it. Yeah, that's the lights. They're all on, you know, on it. So, no generators. And to be fair, sparing use of grid power when it comes. In fact, what I found I use grid power for uh, is for occasions when We've had several consecutive days of non-stop rainfall, cloudy days kind of for several days, etc. And then you get grid power. I have been known to switch that on and get additional charging. Uh, that's, that's it. Apart from that, I'm virtually, I mean, and this is where all the business happens. You can see my battery back there. I have An AVR to protect my stuff from voltage. I have the two inverters. This is inverter A and that is inverter B. Inverter A has on it absolutely everything in the house lights, fans, fridges, freezers, everything apart from the air conditioning I mentioned water heater in the bathrooms and extended ironing duties that is all in better be is used for um, and this is a dc breaker box uh, so that's the 
solar array going into the inverter A, solar array going into the inverter B, and this is just in and out, before and after interrupts for the midnight classic, and it has uh, nine solar panels on it as we speak. You see it is pumping out a good 16.1 amps. Batteries are low today because I've been doing quite a lot of heavy uh, stuff. When I say it's 51.1 amps, we should be floating in a couple of hours. Um, okay. And this is what I mean about okay, this is grid. You can see that the breakers to the grid, both for, for both inverters, are truly down. They're down. I mean, there's no grid power now, but even if grid power came, it's not coming to the system because I don't. When I need additional charging or boost charging, I can switch it on for either inverter, either in the system, yeah, but they're usually off. Interesting. My battery bank for inverter A. I have got eight batteries, which is a 200 amp hour 12 volt battery. And for the second system that runs the air conditioning, etc., I've only got four batteries. Now, this is a very interesting story because, as you can see on top of this, this is BLS battery lifesaver. Um, I will be talking about that gadget and these four batteries and why there are not eight batteries here uh, in another video when I talk about that battery life saver. Very, very interesting. You must stay tuned for that. But basically, this is almost one year. Uh, nothing to report apart from boring. There's nothing, no drama, just boring. Uh, you know, light and arresters, properly fused, breakers are far, it's nothing. You know, and the house just works like clockwork. If you see, the sun is there, charging away. Just charging my battery bank. So this is what I mean by boring, boring, boring solar. If it's done properly, it's well installed, well designed, well balanced with proper fusing and protections, you will find, as I have, that is just uneventful that's what i mean by boring it is uneventful it's the most exciting thing i've done in years by the way just being able to live off the sun just off the sun i was going to install a 1.5 kilowatt wind turbine uh for night time but you know what i'm not interested i've got more power than i need already what am i unless i want to start selling power to people you know um so it's uneventful, it's something that works well, it continues to work well, there are no issues, the house runs like clockwork. And this is the water heater, one of three that we have on, uh, on uh, the inverter. So for an hour a day in the morning, we switch this on, it heats the water, you have a warm shower, you know, switch it off that's it for the day and the water actually last stays it stays warm all day it stays hot all day you know so with a water heater system although i had some ideas previously what i have actually done is just to connect it straight to the water heater it's an ac water heater it's not dc it's not so it's just straight and it works because you only need it for an hour a day and I've got more power coming from the solar panels than I, need, than I need. So there's no point solving a problem that doesn't exist. So I just thought, you know what? Just use the same old alternating current water heaters. And you know, so this is for those of you that saw an earlier video where I was talking about using DC water heaters or, you know, so that's what I've done. All the bathrooms have water heating, all on solar. No, air con no, uh, no generator, no generator. The 1.5 horsepower air conditioning that I talked about, it's hooked up to solar, so if I want to put that on now, I could put it on. 
actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video. So this is another idea of another video just on the that second inverter, inverter B and air conditioning. And we're going to put them all on and you'll see the impact it has on the inverter and batteries, etc. Just to show you that, yeah, it works. But I've just turned on and you can hear it. It's just blowing nice, lovely, air conditioned, you know. What else does a man need? I'm very happy with solar. So I just thought I'd share this video with you because I'm actually uh, going to be abroad again for the next few months on work and I will be missing the actual exact one year anniversary of having these. Uh, uh, having this installation so I thought I'd do the video now share it and um, and uh, hopefully encourage others who want to go solo and who are wondering you know feel that this is just from the sun you know just from the sun amazing Alright then YouTube, out.